this video, I want to discuss with you the benefits of dendrobium. Not a very popular tonic herb, but a rare and very special tonic herb that is used in the traditional Chinese medicine system. Now, this herb has been used for at least 2,000 years. It's been used to treat everything from pharyngitis, digestive disease, inflammatory diseases, vision problems, and many others. Now, in this video, I want to talk to you about a few of the specific and traditional benefits of this herb. However, we could trace back all of these benefits to a few specific medicinal properties from a pharmacological standpoint, and that'd be the possession of alkaloids and plant sterols, which give it most of its uh, therapeutic and medicinal qualities. Now, as a yin gin tonic, something similar to Ho Shu Wu, it helps nourishes the qi in our stomach and our lungs and help our kidneys as well manage our fluids. So a yin deficiency usually shows up as a low sex drive, as a weak or low immunity, poor digestion, adrenal fatigue, and general sort of a weakness or fatigue in our overall energetic body. So as a yin tonic and a qi tonic to the lung and the stomach, we can find by consuming dendrobium that we have an improvement in these issues on the other end. So an improvement in our digestive function, in our immunity, in our overall energy, our sex drive, in our general vitality. And that leads me to the next traditional benefit of dendrobium, which is an improvement in our physical endurance or our physical energy. And that again traces back to its ability to tonify our yin energy. Now in traditional Chinese medicine, low energy, general weakness and fatigue is related to a deficiency in our yin jin energy or usually a kidney deficiency. So our kidneys work in tandem with our adrenal glands that generally give us our energy throughout the day, particularly our energy to get through stressful situations, to uh, manage stress, to work, and essentially has a lot to do with our will. The kidneys are referred to as the seat of the will in Chinese medicine. So as a yin tonic, as a yin jin tonic to the kidneys, it's going to help improve our physical endurance, improve our will and our general uh, level of vitality. Next, dendrobium nourishes our spleen and our stomach, as I mentioned earlier. So in traditional Chinese medicine, our spleen is sort of like our furnace or sort of our melting, our crock pot of, of digestive energy. So when we have a nice, warmed, healthy, balanced spleen, we're capable of digesting food very easily without much uh, force on the other organs or too much pressure or stress on our other organs. And when our spleen energy weakens and we have a spleen deficiency, what happens is our stomach typically has to drive up its output to sort of make up the difference. And what happens at this point is our stomach can start producing too much heat and we have inflammatory issues or issues of excessive heat like stomach ulcers, um, dry chapped lips, issues of the blood, so heat in the blood, and other inflammatory issues of our digestive system like inflamed bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, gastritis, acid reflux, or it could even stem further depending on how chronic and persistent it is into like bleeding gums and other areas of our body like joint pain. So by tonifying and nourishing our spleen and our stomach, we're going to help eliminate ex issues of excess heat and improve our digestive function. Another benefit of dendrobium as a yin tonic is going to help nourish our joints and our tissues and our tendons. And in Chinese medicine, a deficiency of yin means a deficiency in body fluids. So our joints become less lubricated, our tendons and our muscles less flexible, less fluid, and it can manifest as joint pain, as muscle soreness and weakness, tendon and ligament problems, and a decrease in our overall strength. So really what we want to do to remedy these issues is build up, back up our yin energy, nourish these glands that are responsible for um, our, managing our body fluids such as our kidneys. Next, also being a tonic herb that is rich in polysaccharides and plant sterols and other sort of plant alkaloids, this is an immune tonic that can help um, fight off cancer. It can help ward off and prevent any sort of degenerative disease. So working as an immune tonic and a longevity tonic, it's going to help basically strengthen our immune system by feeding healthy gut bacteria with these medicinal constituents like polysaccharides, improve our immune function, specifically the ability to output and create white blood cells and other immune cells like T cells, B cells, and other natural killer cells. And this is an herb that possesses these medicinal qualities as mentioned earlier. Because of that, we're going to find a few other benefits as well that sort of stem from this. Um, the first thing I could think of would be improved liver health. And this is a tonic herb that is a tonic to the liver. So it protects our liver from toxicity. It helps promote um, our digestive fluid and the liver's ability to stimulate the gallbladder to secrete bile, which is going to help our body detoxify naturally. And thus, that's going to have 
positive uh, counter benefits of improving our immune function. And also stemming from that point, we could find an improvement in our eye health and our skin health by taking dendrobium because both of these things, the skin and the eyes, in Chinese medicine are reflections of the quality of our liver. And so if our body becomes overburdened with toxicity, typically the first thing we start to experience is skin problems. So if you have a skin problem, it's very likely that you just have excess toxicity in your body. Specifically, your liver is probably overburdened with toxicity. So you want to make sure you're supporting the liver if you really want healthy skin. And dendrobium is one of many tonic herbs that you could take to promote the health and the function of your liver to specifically clear it out of toxicity. And that, like I said, of course, is going to result in healthier, clean, uh, glowing skin that really isn't uh, experiencing any sort of issues like inflammation, which are usually just a sign, again, of toxicity, or weakened immune system, allergies, pathogens, something in the body that the body doesn't want uh, to be there. So these are usually the signs that your liver and your primary detoxification organs, your immune system, is being bombarded with something. So the place to start for improved skin is support the liver. You could take herbs like dendrobium to support the liver and achieve greater levels of healthy skin, but also your eye health. In Chinese medicine, your eyes are a reflection. They're a mirror to also your liver as well. And so usually issues like redness, irritation, burning of the eyes, dryness of the eyes is typically an issue of excess heat in the body, which is, from a Chinese medicine perspective, toxic accumulation. So dry eyes is usually a side effect of excess heat in the body. So too much heat's burning things up, drying you out. You're going to feel it with dry eyes, irritated eyes. And the best thing for you to do at that point is take care of the liver. You have it. These are the top primary benefits, the traditional benefits of dendrobium herb. If you're interested in learning more about it, always check out our blog. I write articles for every video that we do here on the YouTube channel. If you're interested in trying the herb for yourself, then as always, head to the link below and check out our shop.